Hello, this is TJ Simpsons and I am playing the new FIFA 17 demo. I've been waiting all night for this to download. It's taken absolutely ages, but I'm really looking forward to trying this game. I've been a big fan of the FIFA games ever since I was a boy and I was a little bit disappointed with FIFA 16 to be honest. So I think FIFA 17 is probably a step in the right direction. I'm excited by the new Frostbite engine that's been included within there. Supposedly a lot of gameplay improvements, so I'm excited to see what that's all about. Uh, and also they've included the, the story mode, which is called The Journey, uh, which it seems like a cool idea. It's not something I necessarily would have asked for from a FIFA game, but if they're adding it, there's no reason to say it's going to be rubbish, unless, uh, unless of course, it ends up being rubbish. So, um, But let's just go in. We're going to try playing just a normal game. Gameplay features, new attacking techniques. I'm not going to read all of that text. Well, I'm going to read it in my head, but not out loud. Uh, and a new set piece. Okay. Good to know. And gameplay features. In all honesty, I'm not going to read any of that. Um, I'm not interested in, in these little bits and bobs that they show at the beginning of this demo. I just want to get in and and enjoy the game. It looks like I, I have to go with this first. I'm not going to buy FIFA 17 right now without trying the demo at least. Uh, okay. In we go. Okay. So we can choose kickoff or the journey or to buy FIFA 17. Uh, kickoff. We'll just go straight into kickoff. We're gonna find a team, not Man United. Uh, as a Liverpool fan, it goes against everything I believe in to choose Man United straight away. Uh, so we're gonna find somebody else, not Chelsea, because we hate them as well. In fact, we hate any other team that isn't Liverpool. So it's kind of stupid going through this list, going, "Oh, I don't like that team because I'm gonna dislike all of them." So uh, Paris Saint Germain is is an alright team, and let's do it against not one of the best teams. We'll choose not that one because that's rubbish. Juventus. Juventus and Paris Saint-Germain. Seems like a fairly good rivalry. Fairly even in terms of the teams. Okay. Got those two selected. Let's go to game settings and make sure it's not ridiculously hard. We're on four minutes. Semi-pro just because it's a case of getting used to the stadium. And you only get three, three stadiums. Okay. We'll stick with Stamford Bridge. Begrudgingly, we'll stick with it. Uh, let's have a look at our team. This is what we're interested in. So we've got Cavani up front, Pastore, Matuidi, Benafa, Di Maria. Looked like a pretty strong team there. David Luiz really shouldn't be in that team, though, should he? He's, uh, he's back at Chelsea now, isn't he? So, But we'll forgive that because it's a demo. They probably had to get this ready quite a little bit in advance of the actual game releasing. So that's fine. I'm happy to have him in the team. Right, let's go straight into a game. Let's see what we think. Is it going to be better than FIFA 16? Or any other other FIFAs for that matter? Who knows? We'll soon find out. Okay, what's this? Oh, okay. Is this one of the skill games? Okay. Oh, that was a bit too easy. That was a bit too easy. Okay, just press the start button. No need to go around that again. I know how to do skill moves. Hi there, everybody. In fact, I say that, I don't know how to do the really good skill moves, I know how to do some of them. But I never use them in game. I like to stick to the passing game. Ooh. It's looking quite nice. Crowd looks quite good. It's come a long way from the days where I used to just be those like, cardboard cutout people in the crowd moving erratically. Players look alright. Cool. I'm going to have to sit forward on my chair for this. It's looking a bit small on the screen. In fact, is there any changes to the settings we want to do? Camera angles and all that kind of malarkey. Game settings. Uh, single player camera default. Telebroadcast. Tele. Go up. Uh, let's go with telebroadcast. I think that's the one I usually go for. Looks a bit more along the lines of what I'm used to. Okay. Back in the game. Let's see how we do. Well, the kickoff is underway. And okay. sit back and enjoy what should be 90 minutes of fabulous football with uh, Juventus very much to the fore. Oh, dear. I'm getting passed around the shop. There we go. I'll do. No, wait. I didn't realise there's somebody there. Alongside David Luiz in the heart of defence, Edison Cavani is the main striker today. Okay, that's one thing they need to get right on this as well is the player change because I really disliked that from the last game. Not to say that that was the main reason why I was losing games, but it was frustrating when you were trying to get your defensive set up right and just 
it would change to a player you just didn't want to change to. In, in your right mind, you'd never change to one of those players. Okay. Through the middle. Onto the attack now. Can you run onto that? Nope, you cannot. Give me the ball. I want to play the game. Cool. Okay. Back to you. You're safe. Back down. Oh. Shoot. Oh, get in. No. That should have been a goal. Oh, well. That's all right so far. Nothing nothing horrendous bad, horrendously bad, sorry, is going wrong. I mean, they've not had a shot on goal. Defending okay. It's hard to judge the game within less than like a few minutes of playing. So let's uh, let's continue playing. Let's see how we get on. Oh, over the top. That's all right. Go on, Cavani, make a run. Juventus with so many supporters around Italy, and they're always every time. I like how the pace is a bit better in this one. Before it was just like defenders would catch you up regardless of however fast you'd run in the game. Almost made no difference to that pace stat for each individual player. Whereas this seems a little bit more balanced, which is quite nice. I am kind of running around like a headless chicken at the moment, but that is also because I want to try and see what it's like in terms of charging down players. Like that. That was all right. Cool. Oh, no. Couldn't get through there. With every FIFA, I always find it you have to get used to the whole attacking system that they have because it always changes. You can't attack like you did in the previous game because you'll just end up getting passed out of the park. That's all right. Not too bad a, an interception there. Over the top to this guy out on the wing. Come on. Run. And then into the middle to that guy who's free. That's it. Goal. Easy. And that has significance because they're now into the lead. Nice bit of play there, passing it out to the wing, crossing it into the free man, there taking it down, and, very, and then very straight in. Taken. Talk about passing the ball into the net. Well, there is a prime example. Nice goal. So I've only played, obviously, for a couple of minutes tops. But so far, this game is actually much better than FIFA 16. I mean, there's nothing the horribly wrong with the game so far. It's really hard to judge so early on, but it is a case of trying it and just seeing and, and working out ways to play the game uh, and it seems to suit my style a lot more although defending like that is not going to get me in the right place oh dear he's just running through so this is my issue with the game I seem to do all right throughout most of it oh get it out I seem to do all right through most of it but whenever I score a goal I concede like automatically straight away that's it run onto it Try and go down. Oh, no. That wasn't very good. Okay. We have to get used to close close ball contact or whatever you call it. Because that was not a very good move that I tried to pull. There's probably some sort of skill I can use that would make that more effective. But we'll get to that. Oh, no. Too far. Way too far. Oh, almost. Almost. No, not quite. Go on, Matuidi, get back into position. They're not making any progress. They're passing it around, but they're not really doing anything with it at the moment. And then again, I'm on semi-pro, so I kind of don't expect them to either. If they end up beating me on semi-pro, then I've got an issue with my FIFA abilities. Cool. Good challenge. 1-0 up at half-time. Looking good so far. featuring here has done well he's certainly been an influence on this first half well he played really well didn't he, and he... Well, we don't need to see all the replays we probably should look at the stats though so 40 percent possession uh, but obviously the only shots on on target as well from uh, paris saint germain so that's not a good uh stat for possession but good stats in terms of shots on goal that's the thing that matters uh, and obviously with one of them going in then we're doing all right so far um so yeah, there's not really a lot else to report on there. Everything else seems to be zero apart from tackles. And luckily I'm the one making the more tackles. So uh, let's see how the second half goes. Hopefully we can keep our lead. 
and uh, we'll, we'll end up winning the game hopefully by a lot more goals but we'll soon see still getting used to the game a little bit it is slightly different from FIFA 16 in a few ways uh, it's kind of hard to uh, articulate those differences now uh, but basically it's a bit quicker it seems to be a bit more responsive everything seems to just work which was not always the case of FIFA 16 play and changing was an issue which I've already touched on uh, but also it just seems to be a little bit iffy at times press it in nope that was a bit slow so I have to get used to the realism and stuff in this game because they always try and make it more and more realistic by basically making the players more stupid each time they make the game which is fine I don't mind that but they need to try and balance it and make it fun at the same time so here we go straight through the middle shot from distance in that was way too easy never had a chance to actually like get tackled or anything else ah playing a violin sad times to be Juventus and the way he's done that well two keepers wouldn't have got to it see way too easy no one made a challenge no one even came near me in the whole time I was running but that is good to kind of see how you can just run through the middle different players with different pace I can already tell Ben Arthur is a pacey player in comparison to some of the other people on the team which is quite nice having that ability to recognize pacey players which wasn't always apparent in FIFA 16 because the defenders would just catch you up regardless but yeah some good things so far coming out of this I don't want to do a sliding tackle I know you've got X there but okay fine I'll do one now missed him get it get it ah One thing I have realised is it is quite hard to, to talk and to play the game. Usually when I'm playing FIFA I tend to sit in silence, really focusing on the screen, making sure I don't give any balls away. Whereas this is a bit, a bit more difficult because I'm not used to talking or doing anything at the same time. So, And forgive me if I'm rambling. Uh, if I'm finding it difficult to talk and play at the same time it might be a case that I ramble a little bit and, and don't really talk about anything in particular um, but hopefully that won't happen or happen a lot so here we go over the top go on make the run here we go knock it in front ah oh, not quite not too bad though not too bad in terms of play okay who's making the run anyone you are let's go that way good turn Matweedy oh that was a terrible terrible run though you can't just run through the, the, the wings. Apparently that's not possible. You can run through the middle of the pitch, but you can't run down the wings. Block off that pass. Is that blocked off? Kind of. Mandzukic. Doing well to keep the ball. Bazali. Sami Kadira. Oh, I thought I'd got that. Misjudged it. Here we go. Oh no, he just ran into trouble. Okay, slide him. Oh, didn't get him. Put the block in though. That's what we needed. Come on, let's see if we can defend this well. You would go sure, wouldn't you? Oh. Bender couldn't get to the ball. Well, not first time at least. Gonna go short again. Oh, he's passed it out. Oh, no. I'm getting absolutely torn apart at the moment. Just get it out. Okay. There we go. Now let's make a bit of a run. Something. Okay, can you take a past him? You can. Well done, whoever you are. Ah, uh, not, not a cross, though. Didn't have a cross on you, did you? Oh, no. Oh, that was some terrible defending. Go on, David Luiz, you can get back. Pull on your shirt, pull on your shirt. <laughs> okay, straight out to that guy. Oh, no, Cavani, what was that? You meant to be better than that. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Good pass, getting it forward. We need to get closer to him, really. Oh, got the ball, and he got it back. 
Some very ropey defending there. But we're still 2 0 ahead. If this was on any other difficulty than semi pro, I'd probably be uh, drawing the game, losing the game. So at least semi pro is putting me in a good light for now. Cool. Running it through the middle. Some potential in this move. Moving it round. Good through pass. Oh, nice. Well, he works for the team, but he needs to have that Shots from distance always work in terms of getting the keeper to just make that little bit of a save and you just knock it in. So that was the goal for Paris Saint Germain. Now the keeper's pulled off a, a really good save, but that's when he needs the help of The replays are good on this. I like that. Nice camera angle for that one. Nice. Widen the margin now. 3 0 they lead. So first game down, got the win, three goals, no no conceded goals there. If it was on any, any other difficulty level, I probably would have conceded a goal, maybe even more. But luckily, that didn't happen on semi-pro. So, so far, so good. First impressions of the game are it's very, very different to FIFA 16 in many ways. There are only small little niggles in there. It seems to run smoother. The player changes seem to make sense at the moment. I haven't had too many issues with people either being chosen in the wrong positions or anything like that. We're also seeing quite a few um, kind of nice runs off the ball as well. So when I'm passing it around the middle, people are actually making intelligent runs as opposed to on FIFA 16 they kind of just stand there and not really do a lot which forced you to to try and force people to in, into those runs which was in some ways very difficult I never got on with it so I'm kind of really slating it right now that's not to say it was a bad game loads of people did enjoy it and for different reasons but it just wasn't for me uh, and FIFA 17 seems to be moving in the right direction so let's let's go out of this and uh, let's have another go a game let's have a look and see if we can go into the journey and see just exactly what that's about get past all of these screens if you read them once you don't need to read them again i think just they do that cool straight into the journey let's see what this is like very dramatic Did they spell your name right, mon petit? I don't need to tell you how important a winning start is. Why haven't they put the real Tight. Manchester United no, coach in there? Uh, where's Jose Mourinho? We've all seen the team sheet. Walker, you're leading the line. Hunter and the rest of the subs are when you're ready. You're not there to get a suntan. Well, let's go and show these supporters what we can do, eh? Wait, what? Good one for me. Bad one for me, mate. Good luck. Time to make that was mark. not the voice I was expecting him to have. Hang on, time. All right, that's us, boys. Start us to the tunnel, subs to the bench. That's not like we mean it. Quite a cool little intro. Adds a little bit more flavour to uh, like the normal career mode, which is quite cool. Uh, I want to play as the team. Because I don't like playing as the individual player. I just end up running around like a headless chicken. Okay, loading. Well, that's definitely not, not what the table looks like at the moment in the season now. But, I mean, come on, Liverpool should be higher than that. Let's go in. Let's advance. 
Hi there, everybody. Martin Tyler with you. Alan Smith alongside me. I'm pretty sure this isn't like career mode whereby you just play the games in full. I'm pretty sure this is more like those scenarios you used to get, like your three one down, you have to get two more goals and draw the game or something like that. So I don't think we'll start it from the beginning of the game, controlling the whole team. I think we'll have a scenario whereby we have to achieve certain targets within uh, the game that we're playing. But we'll find out any minute now. Manchester United now on the attack. What a goal! And what a moment for him. Talk about producing on the big stage. Well, not the start in the first half of the first game of the season that Chelsea Why is Ibrahimovic on the bench? That isn't a good choice by Manchester United. Looking for an equaliser. And that's the Chelsea equaliser. Well taken and well deserved too, I think. Change well, there's Mourinho. This manager is always very decisive, and he's been so once again here. Onto or Mel. And it's Alex Hunter who's warming up. This will be his debut. Well, a bold move from the Manchester United coaching staff here. Here we go. We're going to make our make our mark on the game. Go on, Hunter. Warm up. Get yourself ready. We're going to score a goal. Welcome to the Premier League, son. Gaffer wants you to get after that back four. Centre halves are fading. Use your pace. Get in behind them. All right. You ready, lad? Get me out of there. Well, you bottle. Just remember what we told you. Keep your discipline. Go on. Just get me out there. I want to score a goal. The winning goal. Quarter of an hour left. On comes Alex Hunter. Well, the Manchester United manager being really positive. Press the boss. Team player get one assist and break the deadlock by winning the match. Make himself a hero. Get the winner. I think we can do that. We can do all of that. Come on. It's actually quite cool, actually, having these scenarios, giving you a reason to actually play these games rather than just obviously winning the game and, and getting points on a scoreboard. Just so, yeah. Quarter of an hour left on my watch. Well, they're still battling to try. Here we go. Search for supremacy successful. Ah. Possession facts suggest that. that, that, that uh, Battling is still going on. That's all right. One thing having possession, but another thing being positive and using it in the right areas. Go on. Let's get it back up to the top of the pitch. Morgan Schneiderle. Oh. Wayne Rooney. Nope. It's a good place to win the ball here. Come on, we need to get it to the player. Not doing very well passing around at the moment. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Oh, go on, keeper. You've got that. Okay, let's kick it up to him. Can you head it down? You can't. Oh, that's terrible, terrible touch by that guy. Oh. Could have got the ball there. Well, they're building steadily here, working away. And in he goes with the tackle. Manchester United have okay. got the ball back here. Brilliant match. Still nothing between the two teams. They're both going there we in. go. Tom's looking for the win. The goalkeeper comes out with a punch. Ten minutes left. Ten minutes. That's not enough time. Here's oh, I should have got that. Nemanja Matic. Mikel. Come on. Excellent passing. Great interplay. Good pass to Rooney. Out to the wing. Sure. Come on, let's do something with it. Oh, nice. Come on. Nice. Goal. 
What a day for these two great friends, Hunter and Walker. Well, what a day for this pair. First, Gareth Walker scores. And now Alex Hunter on their debuts at Stamford Bridge, no less. A golf from Alex Hunter. And no thoughts in his mind to blast it. He That's just what we needed. Side -foot it get the, the goal to win it. And now we just need to get him to give an assist. Still tough going Come on. Chelsea. We've got enough time. But their side is so full of natural winners they're unused to being in this position really yeah those chelsea fans going through the card in terms of their songs trying to rally the players Not much time left though oh no you didn't get the ball what was that hunter Perfect. that was terrible i guess you are unproven though so that's kind of part and parcel of having a young player in the team Here's come William. on Remy. good strong tackle and here comes Wayne Rooney. Momentum with him. Come on, you can still control that ball, can't you? He's got it away, and that's what you have to do. We're down to the last five minutes now, and the margin is still just one goal. Alex Hunter. Attacking now. Now Anthony Martial. Wayne Rooney. Here's Hunter. Go on through the middle. Oh, what? Sliding in for that challenge. Oh, no, don't Could score. Well, he's kept the ball after a good first touch. No. Get it out. Well, they've been okay. thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. Morgan Schneiderlin. Cool. On to the attack now. Oh, come on. Pass it through the middle. Remy. First time. Feel so much more pressure Manovich. to achieve these goals. It makes it fun, but it is, it is very much a case of I want to I wanna do what I'm set out to do and nothing else. Well, they've got a corner out of that. A bit lucky. It was deflected. Got the chance to talk to Jim Hunter before the game today. Great player, of course. And now very much uh, in the supporting role as a family member. Come on. Yeah, he'll be as proud as punch, won't he? Defend it. Don't All concede. Alex's family, I think, up in that stand. Premier League cool. debut. What a day for him. Now Hunter. Here's Hunter. Come on. Who's making the run? You are. Potential in this move. There's the ball in. Well, the ball deserved perhaps a better response from his team. Shots off. Okay, that wasn't a good shot from distance. Well, that should but give these players some encouragement because I think we can still win the game. Just don't do anything stupid. And we'll be fine. It's a promising attack. This with Hunter on the ball. Wayne Rooney! Oh. Saved by the at full Come on, stretch. Wayne. That was a terrible tackle. That was honestly one of the worst tackles I've ever done in this game. Wow, this game, and any FIFA game for that matter. Come on, get the, get the ball back. back Through the middle. Now it's with Wayne Rooney. Manchester United moving into oh, the not quite enough. But we can get the ball back. Okay, can we get this as the assist? Any oh, anything in the middle. Just need to be on target. Diego Costa. Nope. No. Nope. Well, no chance. chance no way. From this match. He went in well. Okay. We're pretty much at the end of the game. Oh, come on. Use your power and pace. Seem to think he's a superstar already, and he's only he's only a child. We can't expect big things from him yet. Head it clear. We've got a time for one more attack. Go on, that's it. Run through the middle. Ah, oh, not quite. We still won. We still achieved a target, which was win the game. Just didn't get the assist, and I'm pretty sure we've impressed Jose Mourinho as well, so 
and Gareth Walker. Well, instant fact. He, he might be through. So we achieved two of our goals, I think, there, which is good. Get back that. Get back to that screen. So, great forward passing. Your accuracy matched your ambition. Great short passing. Well done keeping control of the ball. Excellent job in taking the opportunity from scoring from inside the box. Excellent foresight. It looks pretty good. That's some good feedback. And advance. And I imagine that's probably everything you'll get in this demo. But so far, that looks pretty good. It looks like a good way to have a dream debut for, for progress. I bet you couldn't have imagined you'd be stood here talking with us today. A couple of months ago, you were on the fringes of the squad. Then a couple of injuries and suddenly you're on the first team. How does it feel to have scored on your debut? Yeah, yeah, amazing. I feel so fortunate, really. Uh, the, the team lost some key players to bad luck, but this is an amazing club with loads of squad depth. Uh, they put me in a position to finish out there, so all credit to the lads. Uh, yeah, I just feel really grateful to be here. <laughs> An emotional day for you all around, Alex. A comment on sharing your debut with your lifelong friend and teammate, Gareth Walker. It was a special moment, for sure. I won't be forgetting it in a hurry. Alex, the team comes away with a win. Any comment on the three points tonight? Go with that well, one. The team played well together as a unit. Uh, boss is always reminding us about how every point is vital, and uh, so it feels good to have gotten all three. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. That's quite a cool little addition. I mean, the selections on what you say, not necessarily uh, a necessity within the game, but it's a nice addition. Adds a little bit extra flavour, gives you something to think about when you're playing the game other than obviously just playing football, which is obviously what you come to FIFA for, but this looks pretty cool, I have to say. I never expected anything like this. All right, you have to show him scoring against Liverpool. That's just not nice. Representation, you call me. Just don't get too carried away. Can disappear just like that. Life doesn't always give you what you want, does it? I'm ready. You'll get your opportunity, Hunter. Just get me out of there. Oh, we might as well pack this season in now. What was he thinking? I want to stay and fight for my place. I won't let you down. Alex Hunter, an outstanding goal. Welcome to the Premier League. This young man has everything. We're going to make history. Incredible. My name is Alex Hunter. You don't know me, but believe me, you soon will. I'm gonna say it looks pretty cool. It looks like there's a good story within there, and it's weird to say that in a FIFA game because none of them have ever had a story. But that looks like something that I want to play and go through that whole kind of journey as a new footballer starting up and having those times where you don't score goals and going through the hardship of potentially being sent out on loan or not in the team and how that kind of works as a football fan you see that every day at any of your teams there's always a player that you think is going to be performing well and they don't and it's kind of you watch from the fringes but you never know what it's like on the inside so it's kind of good to get that insight in the story mode i'm actually really looking forward to that so on that note i'm going to leave the video here so we've done one game of kickoff we've gone through the journey Everything I've seen so far indicates that this is going to be a really good FIFA game. Obviously, you're going to have Ultimate Team and all the other different modes within there when you actually buy the full game. Can't show any of that today because it's not in the demo. But when you add all of that in there, along with the new gameplay, along with the new story mode, this seems like it's going to be probably one of the best FIFA games we've had for quite a long time. So I definitely recommend trying the demo if you haven't. I'm sure 
everybody who's a FIFA fan has tried the demo already. But if you haven't, get on it now. And uh, yeah, hopefully see a few of you on the pitch when you end up getting the game. If you like this video, hit the like button and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.